Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Risk of Rain 2. I'm Nye, joined once Hi. again by... Metis. And we're doing it. We're committing. We have we have water. We have comfy chairs. It's time for loop four. Correction, you have water. I have coffee. Oh, I feel sorry for you. I always have coffee. Of all things to not have when trying to sit for a long time. Hey. My bladder knows no fear. <laughs> oh, loading, loading. So I am aiming for loop four. Can I see exactly how long we can go on this? Uh, this is not what I wanted, damn it. Nice. If you want it, I got the wrong thing. I mean, tempting, but I'll have to think about it for now. Yeah, I wanted to get the one that uh, damages you. Okay, you want Hellfire, though. Yeah, I wanted Hellfire. I've got 13 honeys on me. I'm keeping an ear out and I'm waiting for the uh waiting for the rain to start. It's actually a risk of rain in real life for me right now. Oh fun. Or should I say risk of hurricane? Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Hurricane has turned a little bit, so it's not as scary as it was, but uh no, it is. Or your puppy approves of that. Oh god, she's gonna be so upset, you don't even know. I mean, like, the fact it's not gonna be as bad as it's expected. Well, it's really the it's the wind that's the problem, more than, like, thunder or anything like that. No, uh, she's, uh, she's gonna be a very upset doggo. And then we have another dog who's on his way out, so we're watching for that, too. What do you mean? It, he is, like, probably three or four days away from dying of natural causes. Oh, that's upsetting. Like, he is, he has recently lost control of his bowels, so it is, he is that far along. Poor <sighs> pup. I mean, he, he's old. Our dogs in my family tend to survive until... You know, 15, 16, 17, and that's about where he is. Can you stop getting shit on all the shrines that I've pumped multiple attempts into? I thought you hadn't touched those ones yet. Oh no, I touched each of them twice. Not I'm still trying one. to get shit out of them. This one's still active after getting it, I admit. Oh no, I failed. I didn't say I got anything out of them. I attempted them. Oh. Sorry. Also, by the way, the loader's electricity punch is so great. good. It's great. God damn it. I'll be right over there and give you a hand. <laughs> like, you succeed on all of them. I have exactly two items, because I keep failing. And how much is it up to right now? More than I have. I have no idea how much I left, because I don't have the money or the wherewithal to deal with it anymore. Okay, it's at 61. Oh, by the way, I did test uh, having glass on. You're still considered to be at full health. Even if, you're, uh, even if your health is, like, at, you know, three. If you're at three of three, it is still full health. Good to know. Yep. I tested to see if I could get that, uh... That achievement on Rex easily, and no, that shit don't work. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting. We were gonna be getting like the eye of the storm or the east side, you know, the scary shit. Yeah. But uh, that doesn't seem to be happening, so now we're getting the west side. But still, like, 70 mile an hour winds. Thankfully, 70 won't knock down most trees if you have any No, no, deal. 70 mile sustained winds. But what I'm saying is that... 105 mile an hour gusts. It'll knock over, like, 
freestanding trees, but if they're in like a green belt or something, it's a lot less likely. A lot of trees down here have uh, surface level roots. They don't have deep root balls. Ooh. Yeah, it's especially an issue with like the big oaks that we have down here. It's a shame, especially because oaks are really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we love our oaks down here. Like there's a, they're doing some uh, road work in uh, on a certain road near my house and they were actually pulling out uh, the oak median that they were using uh, for space purposes. And uh, people got pissed, so they had to make sure to say, no, 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 we're not getting rid of the rest of them, and the ones that we have are going to, like, you know, an orchard um, or something. I don't, another thing is that a lot of uh, the older bottom. trees um, protected, actually. There she, there she is. No, don't you dare, you bitch. Yeah, that achievement was a pain in the butt to do. You have to be under 50% for the entire event. Mm-hmm. Not just finish at. Oh. Um, uh, what I did is I just alternated between doing the uh, health cost firing, like right click and left click. I just had to very carefully hold my health. Fun one is when you finish an event with less than ten percent HP. Yeah, I haven't gotten that one yet. <laughs> and given that I've been getting almost you know exclusively uh, harvester sides, I'm not likely to get it in this one either. I'd rather focus on survival right now, especially because we're on monsoon. Yeah, like down trees down here or uh, down limbs especially are a huge deal. Yes, sir. Yep. Got one just as we were leaving. Oops. You want this side or what? Uh, I'll go. I'll go back in. And then I got a, a casual reminder of how much of a racket freaking vision places are. Oh, like I don't. Yeah, like uh, optometrist. There we go. Like I went to. It's been a year and a half, or a little bit longer than that, since I last got my uh, eyes examined. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, among other things, I have astigmatism, so my shit just gets worse. It does uh, I'm the same way actually? Yeah. So I went, to, I went to go in, and my eyes have worsened, which is uh, essentially a problem for night driving for me. So I have to get new glasses, and it's like, okay, by the way, your, you know, your vision insurance only covers the frames. So pick out whatever designer frame you like. The actual lenses are going to be two hundred and fifty bucks. Like, one thing, you may, one thing you may want to look into actually. Um, there's a website where Zenny. you. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Problem is, my family gave me a gift card to this place for uh, my birthday because they knew uh, that I would be doing this, and it wasn't until after that that they learned Zenny was a thing, and I wasn't about to give up that gift card. So, now nah, I'm gonna be doing that for like sunglasses or something like that. But I'm, I'm sitting here like, are you guys kidding me? After insurance, it's this much, really? Yeah, that's why I do is. Uh means how I get my glasses, because I'm covered to get a new prescription, uh, but not actual lenses or anything. So once I grab my prescription, I just take the Zenny and tell them the uh, positioning that my pupils face naturally. Yep. I, once, I, once I actually pick up my glasses, I will be picking up my prescription from them. That way I can kind of go where I want to. Nice. Um, it's like, really? Are, are, are you joking? A chrono bubble would help a bit. I also love, like, the place that I go to down here. Um, they, are, they have this deal where you can get, like, two pairs of glasses for 
like a reduced amount. Hmm. Problem is, my insurance only applies the discount to a single frame. So it's actually more expensive for me to get two pairs, not less expensive. Or, there's, there's like no discount for me. Yeah. Like I even asked them, I said, hey, you know, just out of curiosity, I just want to know how much would it be? Like it was 250 bucks for the, uh, for, for my one set of glasses. But, and keep in mind, like I, I, when I say that, I, I have to acknowledge in the interest of fairness that I also like get, you know, the super thin, super strong, scratch resistant. You know, I don't do transitions. That's all I don't do. So I'm not gonna lie. I liked them once upon a time. Now I'll just take normal freaking shit. When I was younger, I had them as I was in and out a lot. But now it's like get transitions, but. After a while, the lenses themselves start to sort of have this very slight yellow yep. tint. They just they just stay a little bit tinted forever. Yep. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that the that I'm not choosing to get something that is expensive. I am. But it was like, okay, can you get can I get myself a um you know a set of sunglasses? How much would that be if I got the exact same thing as last time, the exact same frames as last time? How much would that be? Oh, you know, it was 250. Now it's 550. It's like, are, are you kidding me? Um, one that I usually go for is uh, uh, I I don't like the plastic lenses. I find they smudge way too easily. Yeah, I get a. Uh, I get the glass ones. I get some super thin polycarbonate something or other. With I like go, a special scratch resistant coating. I just go old school and get glass with the uh, scratch resistance. They're not as they're not as uh, impact resistant as the thing, so you choose one or the other, you know. Yeah. One of my big problems is that I uh, I was unaware that the um, the the. Uh, the anti-glare coating on uh, my glasses. Never fucking works and smudges like hell. Oh, it works fine. And the smudges I wasn't worried about, it doesn't play nice with some glasses cleaning solutions. Really? So, yeah. So, like, I got I got some glasses cleaning solution from Walmart because I needed, like, you know, I, I wanted to actually get my glasses clean, clean instead of, you know, rubbing around oils and such. Uh, I'm one of those crazy people who regularly kind of falls asleep with glasses on and doesn't take them off until I wake up 20 minutes later. I don't know how you do that. Uh, I So when when I'm lying down to sleep, I actually lie down, lights off, fan on, all that stuff, dog curled up next to me in, in, a, in a comfortable position, and I turn on YouTube. And there's I a couple mean. different people that I watch and they kind of lull me to sleep. Gotcha. So I fall asleep to it, and then about 20 or 30 minutes later, I'll wake up just long enough to take my glasses off. But it always smudges my glasses for the next morning. But apparently, whatever solution Walmart you, uh, has fucked with my anti-glare. And so it got rid of that, created some smudginess, and I guess it also that also damaged the, um, the scratch-resistant coating. Good to start. Uh, here, I'll take out one, you try to push the other one. I already have it. Oh, you already have that one? <laughs> oh, okay. I have all the sit abilities. Do you agree, though, we should be focusing on the one? Yeah, I'm taking him out. Don't you stun me, you piece of shit. Down? One down. I hated this when I was going for some of those achievements. Like, that attack is such horseshit. It is. Uh, what do I want? Yeah, 
I'm gonna stop shooting and see if I can take damage. Okay. Leave this one alive. Eight. Come on, keep hitting me, keep hitting me, keep hitting me. I'm standing right next to you. Hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. One more, one more, one more for the road. Damn. So close. I needed exactly one more attack and I could not get them to hit me. Uh. It's okay, I'll get on the next run of the next level. <laughs> I have I have like I have my <laughs> I have at least one microfiber cleaning cloth in my car. I have at least four at home. Yeah, definitely. Gotta stockpile those. Mm hmm. Make sure one's clean at all times. I'll tell you what, soloing this game is fun as hell. Oh yeah, now you see how I managed to, uh, to walk so much stuff. Oh, that's not a question. It's just, it's so much fun to solo this game. Like, you know, people will see me doing a lot of co-op with you guys, but the actual solo experience is so much fun. Yes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're a little ahead of me in items, but... I'll catch up. I think my next red, I'll get the horns. Yeah, I think I might start with the horns. Um... Well, I meant to get the horns to start, but I misclicked and got the Edis instead. Not terrible. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, you can... You can absolutely make stuff happen with that. Even I mean... without horns. I mean, in the beginning, the Dune Striders were doing the big stuff. Mm -hmm. My shield was just keeping me healed more than it could damage me. Yep. I mean, with, what, four Harvester Scythes and the, I think, 80% crit I had, they couldn't really do much to me either. I mean, honestly, even on, you know, even on this difficulty, loop one is not exactly a problem. It's easy to loop one. It's the ones that come after. Maybe a little bit less so if you're going for an achievement or on certain characters in, like, single player. But okay. even still. There's an equipment drone over here. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick that up, yeah. I really wish there was a way to, um, a way to protect the drones, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can get emergency drones and they'll heal each other and shit like that, but I mean, you put a bunch of money into drones, it'd be nice to be able to keep them alive. That being said, this is nothing new. This was also a problem in Risk of Rain 1. Drones just die at a certain point and they stop being useful. <laughs> have to come that way because there actually is an equipment barrel down here. I was really annoyed. I had a really good NG run going uh, a couple of days back. And uh, I was on Monsoon. I was on Loop 1. I just went immediately to Mythrix. And uh, knowing that I was... I had a very powerful run going on. I had like three reds at end of Loop 1. Uh, so had a very powerful run going on. So I took, uh, I took Sharp Glass. So I was like, I'll be fine. We'll weaken Mythrix and I'll be able to beat him. Freaking tank sniped me from behind. And killed me. Okay. I was so upset, I cannot even tell you. So it looks like, uh, my side really wants me to have all these chance drawings. Where was that equipment drone? It's not the very top. Over there is the exit, though. 
Well, I mean, I'm not done on my side yet, so that's gonna have to wait. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what Monsoon do. Oh, goddammit. Stockpile, and then... Yeah, like, what, what, what do we care if difficulty goes up, you know? We're used to being ha 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 eternally. Consistently, yeah. That it was up top here? That's at the very top. Okay, and we will passively get gigantic stuff. So I'm guessing that new skill you have because of, um... I haven't used it yet, the one for uh, surviving less than 50%. It's basically like the Huntress's uh, action. Uh, yes. Okay. I mean, you are definitely the right person for the game to give chance shrines. It shouldn't be, but it does anyway. I was cracking up a little bit because they had me do the, um... What item do I want out of this? Probably that, to be honest. They, I, I did the, um, the, like, the, the field vision acuity test or whatever it is. The one where you, uh, they test to see can you see stuff out of all, you know, fields of your eyes. Hmm. And, uh, I did that one, and unfortunately, because we were wearing masks... The damn thing kept fogging up. And they, they, they said it was gonna happen. They said, let us know if it fogs up, but I was trying to like hold out anyway so I get it done quickly. The uh the doctor takes one look at my results and goes, Let me guess, the test was fogging up? And I said, Yeah. And she goes, Okay, hold on. Follow my ear, uh, look at my nose, I'm holding up my fingers, how many fingers are she had to, she had to double check the test to make sure I was actually seeing at, uh, seeing things. And that it was not the uh yeah, that, that it was the thing fogging up and not my inability to see out of the corners of my eyes. Which I do appreciate, you know, in a doctor double-checking that sort of thing. But it was just cracking me up a little bit. Uh, my, uh, I'm nearsighted and unfortunately also have astigmatism and all that crap. However, yeah, same. my peripheral vision is godly. I don't have any... I don't have any complaints by Peru, thankfully. I am also nearsighted. I have a little bit of trouble with night driving nowadays, but eh. I used to not have it, but I tried to get my eyes fixed with LASIK when I was younger. And it worked for a while, but one of the side effects of LASIK is uh, when night driving, uh, you may see halos around light sources. Mm -hmm. And when my eyes started going bad again, it just carried through. <laughs> yeah, I, I asked about it a number of years ago. Uh, kind of as uh, as I was getting older and as I kind of reached that age, they're like, yeah, your eyes will stop shifting now, so LASIK could be an option. And I said, cool, I'm glad to hear it. So, you know, can I look into that? And like, well, you have astigmatism, so no. No, uh, you cannot. It, it, it's not going to work that well for you. I went, oh. I have astigmatism, and it really depends on what method you're doing with it. If you're going with base, then yeah, the regular kind isn't great. A custom is what you want if you have astigmatism, because what they do is they give you your own, give you your own plates, and it's basically a free upkeep. So they'll do minute adjustments as you need them. Yeah, I, I'm in the United States. There's no such thing as free when it comes to health, anything. I mean, a LASIK isn't free in Canada either. You have to pay for it. It's... Well, I know, but you said it's free upkeep. It, it would not be free upkeep. Yeah, if you if you get the custom, 
no, it would not be free down here is what I'm saying. It does not matter what you got or what package, you know, it would not be free. But... Like, technically, certain thi like, certain things I do at the doctor's are technically free under my insurance, but I'm also paying a fair amount for my insurance each, uh, you know, for each, uh, each paycheck. Gotcha. And that would more than uh, care for some of this shit. Gotcha. It's like, I if I go to the doctor and get a preventative visit, so, like, flu shot, shit like that, or uh, basic wellness checkups. Those are free. Uh, but that stops them from having to pay more down the line if something does happen. Before I'm making my way. It's okay, I don't have pistols anymore, I have machine guns. A pistol. I have machine pistols, there we go. Okay, come on, Airy. Fuck, okay. Got a missile turret right here. What boss is that? Uh, looks a like a stone magma. giant magma armor, okay. Comes. See, with the upcoming Dune movie, I'd call it Shia Halud, but this is a really knockoff. Can't even ride the damn thing. How terrible is that? Tried hard, okay. What I'm wearing is close enough to a still suit. I should be able to ride it. I don't like still suits. Yeah, I get why they're so needed and functional, but at the same time, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a necessity, so I'm sure if I had the same need, I'd be a lot less squicky about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, are those hermit crabs? But they're on the bottom floor! Uh, there's no place to run them off on this map. Well, they stay, still take falling damage, that's right. Uh, I, isn't it explicitly you have to run them off the map? I think it's just death by falling damage, but I think that probably works. You're um, going, go away. Wait, the red chest is all yours. I was gonna ask, since you already have one. Huh? Hopefully we'll find some more, though, and that will solve that problem. Hmm. I have money. Love money. I really appreciate having a Brion accumulator. It does make life a lot easier, especially when you're out of full crit build. Yep, well, I was also doing a, um, a combat challenge run. Uh, speaking of shrines, the, or the, uh, exits up here. Do you know? Yeah, some elders. Those, I don't have that yet. Oh, hello, friends. That's not what I wanted, but sure. Oh, 
come on. I think I put it off long enough. I should probably get some movement speed. Yeah, I put it off a lot too. Like, movement speed's useful, but there's so many other things you can get in this game. Okay, let's get some more money. I find it interesting that uh, this is a big thing that was more of a Risk of Rain 1 than 2 thing. Mm -hmm. But in Risk of Rain 1, you know, the storyline kind of implies that you are trying to survive crashing down on the planet. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, survive all the monsters that exist there. But because of all the items that you get and the powers that you get, it's almost directly stated, eh, you're the monster here. And when you think about just how quickly we cut through everything in uh, in these playthroughs, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Especially uh, if you read, I'm trying to remember which item it is. I believe it's the. Uh, I want to say it's crit glasses, actually. Ow! Okay, well, that happened. That's not good. I got hit by multiple, um, multiple snails. All, uh, all leaks. Yep. That was annoying. But, like, it's talking about, like, how, you know, younger Lemurians hear the tale of the creature that was strong enough to defeat, um, Provenance. And uh, that creature had, uh, I think it's 11 pairs of glowing eyes. Which just refers to, you know, the various different characters. Uh, where did you say the exit was? Well, That's you still have to get the red. Uh, the exit's up top there. It's, it's on the center island. Okay. Now I still have to get the red, but it'll be easier. He might. It's gonna be close to 5k. Need plenty. I'm good. No, I meant more about like, being knocked completely out of the teleport zone. That's fine. Move some of the enemies away. I should probably get a time of times. Yep. <laughs> what hit yep. What hit me? Everything. Ball? Where? Ah. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Let me uh, see the switching characters, actually. Okay. Um, small B, 20 Tim. I mean, he would have—he would bring safety to the front. 
haven't used her in a while. I mean, um, she's safe for you. No, she is. Um, uh, I'm do fun for AoE. I don't know, it's been a while. I'll go to Huntress. Yeah, Huntress is, is super safe. I mean, the commando has always been the new like the noob character but huntress is the newbie friendly character trying to say something <laughs> i'm actually not sure why they don't make her the starting character <laughs> because she's got high damage, high speed, but low defense. While the commando, he's an all rounder. He's got good speed, he's got good movement, and he's got uh, a lot of situational escapes and such. I suppose so. He is by far the most balanced character. But you think you'd give the character who has, you know, auto aim and super escapes some of these yeah, but she she's also got super short range i mean not that short yeah it's shorter than everybody else's but you know but it's still a good distance and the other issue is that you can't specifically target certain enemies over others it's always the closest one mm, not quite Closest one to your closest one that's in range that's closest to your cursor. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, crap. Uh, now I... Oh, after we start, hold on. I forgot, I'm not allowed to have lunar items in this challenge. <laughs> Alright, let's just kill ourselves. Yeah, hold on. Come on, Wisps, you get a free shot, let's go. I'm taking a really long time about this. Well, by having both of us here, it'll increase the spawns. Yep. I mean, I'm just gonna go jump off. So that won't kill us. We don't have fragility on. Right, but it'll get my health lower, so that way they can kill me faster. There we go. Smite me! Thank you. Smite me, almighty smiter! Exactly. I completely forgot about that. I didn't even think about it last run, either. I just didn't see an item I wanted. I didn't mention it last round. I thought you mentioned the Hellfire tincture, but I didn't think. I thought you also realized you couldn't do it. No, I just grabbed a completely wrong item. Oh, okay. That works. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go classy. I like the shotgun shots off of him, but I really feel as if the, the single piercing beam is probably the superior one. Yeah. I mean, it's great if you're up close and personal, that's about it. Yeah, but as we get more, you know, crowds... You don't want to be up close and personal. But only that, but piercing beam goes through everybody. Ends up being the better choice. Enemies, please. Ah, I pick a fight with this iron giant, and now all of you spawn in. Sure, 
sure they're all stone. God, the Engie's attacks feel so damn slow to begin with. Oh, yeah. But he's supposed to be a literal tank, not like armor-wise, but damage-wise. Yeah. Just that really slow dunk, 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 dunk. It's like, dude, get your shit together. This flamen waffle. He waffles the flamen. <laughs> hey game, give me spawns, I would like items. Thank you for this. Oh no, whatever am I going to do with these two charges of the Freon Accumulator? It is a little bit ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Exits over here. Hmm? Like how they're just syringes stuck in this. Right, just stuck in your thigh, you know? Oh no, no, in the turret. Oh, that too. Um, let's grab that. God damn it. My luck continues. I I've been commenting on my solo runs about these people that show up in Novice Network, who I I have more items than you do. Okay. But these people in Novice Network who, like, um, show up and I have to question their education and or intelligence. One guy brought up, this is a true fact, so one guy brought up uh, how interesting it was that the moon is gradually moving away from the Earth. Yes. So, I was really interested in this fact because it's something I had heard about in the past, but I wasn't sure exactly, like, how, like how much. Because he, he said, you know, 38 centimeters a year. No, sorry, 3.8 centimeters a year. And... I was like, wow. And he goes, man, imagine how different it must look, how much smaller it must look now than, you know, than when the pyramids were built. And I went, what do you mean, how much smaller? If that's, that's a lot. It's a lot. You know, 23, 23 centimeters a year over 2,300 years, that's, you know, that's 23, uh, you know, kilometers away. And I went, no. No, it isn't. It isn't by a lot. You dropped a few decimal places there. 
So first I had to kind of correct his math. And then he goes, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm American. I don't understand the metric system. I don't, know, I don't really know how far that is. And I said, L let me let me give you a picture. Nothing to do with American Since... or whatever. It's numbers. Okay, I'm hitting the button. There you go. Um, uh, I'm just running to grab a turret. Well, I told him, like, since the be the beginning of generally respected recorded human history is 5,000 years ago. I forget the exact numbers now. It's a couple hours ago. But I was like, the beginning of recorded history was about 5,000 years ago. In that time, the moon has moved about, like, 1.5 miles. That's 15 city blocks. That is... That's not much. Like, I, I don't understand the distance. It, it isn't a distance. It's no distance whatsoever. You walk more than that on your way to the bus stop. Like, it was funny is he's like, well, eventually at some point the moon is going to break free of uh, the Earth's gravitational orbit. We'll have no moon. And I went, I didn't say anything, but I went, that's... That's really weird. I never heard about that. I went and looked it up, and it turns out, no, that's not what any of the current models are predicting. They're saying that in about 50 billion years or so, the moon will reach a uh, tidally locked uh, orbit around the uh, around the Earth and will never move any further. And half the reason the moon is, is moving, the moon's actually slowing down its retreat, and half the reason the moon is actually actively moving, apparently, is it's partly because, I guess, of the impact that caused the moon to form in the first place. But also, <laughs> apparently, even though the moon is affecting the tides, apparently the tides affect the moon back, and it's kind of this momentum transfer back and forth. Yeah, it's, it's like the clappy balls. Yeah. And so, and, and so it, it will eventually lose that. Also, what one sec. When this hits 100, don't hit it right away. There are two turrets I want to grab. Okay. I'm going to start running there now. So I brought all this up to him, and, you know, I, and he says, that's, that's not how gravity works. Gravity's not getting stronger. It's not going to slow down and stop. It's gravity gets weaker. Inverse square law. I'm like, yeah, you, you're aware the moon has gravity, too. Like, there are multiple reasons where it is where it is. Could not convince him. I said, look, I have, like, this is an article from NASA. This is an article from Space.com. This is an article from Forbes. There are a fair number of, apparently, scientists and phys... Here's phys.com. Number of scientists uh -huh. and physicists who disagree with you. Maybe you should go look into this. Nuh-uh, oh. that's not how this works. It's like, oh, no, don't ask me to do research. Hit the button. So there was him, and then uh, someone else mentioned as you're talking about this. They're like, "Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know science or astronomy all that well, but I do know economics." And the guy's like, "Ah, economics, the study of the relationship between manufacturer and consumer." And all of us kind of stopped for a second, and and we're like, "Um, are you dumb?" No. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what it means. Uh, no. On this side, or uh, I'll, I'll I'll move. I mean, I can move. There are a lot of chests over here if you want them. I think I still have more than you do, so I'll go to the back. I mean, he he he's not wrong that it's part of the study, but like the person who was actually an economist and actually studies uh, online economies was like, it, it's it's the study of you know people's behavior in a scarcity environment, which yeah. that that's my understanding of the definition. So that's some. Right. Some other guy uh, crops up and goes, I mean, we can, I, I forget exactly how he said it. He said it really weird. He's like, we can study economy right now. If, if you and Jeff Bezos were on Mars, would you sell him your extra uh, air bottle for half his fortune? And so some of us were like, you know, okay, yes, sure. And I was sitting there going, why on earth would I be alone with Jeff Bezos on Mars? And so after a few months, the guy goes, ha, you all failed the test. Why would you ever give up a, your only heir for worthless money on Mars? <laughs> Actual idiot. And, and, and several of us thought for a second, wait, first of all, who said it's my only heir? You said extra air bottle, number one. Number two, who says it's worthless? I might be coming back. We might use dollars on Mars. 
And he goes, no, 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 you don't understand. This is this is the classic economy puzzle. I just put it on Mars. It's actually if you're on a desert island and you have a uh, and you have a uh, coconut and the other guy is a billionaire with nothing else. Who is truly wealthy? One with the coconut. Well, my my first my first statement was <laughs> define wealth. You have to define wealth. Oh, okay then. If that's the case. It's the fucking billionaire, because that's how we define wealth, by money. No, it's not the billionaire, you're the only one with food. No, you said it's a desert island, not a deserted island. I'm gonna go spend half that fortune right over there at the resort that you just casually didn't mention. But that's not how, but that's not how this question works. I am so sorry that you didn't define parameters and decided that I had to define half of them. You don't get to decide that anymore. I knew what he was talking about. Like, I, I'm familiar with this one, but the problem is he was doing that, uh... Try and sound like an elitist, like he knew more than Yeah, he was doing that stupid pseudo-intellectual thing where he communicates badly and then puts it on you that you didn't understand him. Yeah, that's like, no. <laughs> Get like, it One of my favorite examples of that, you, you've heard the GRY joke, right? Yes. So, or the GRY riddle, I guess, is the better way to put it. So for, for for those for those playing the home game who have never heard this one before, and I'm I'm glad for you that you haven't, because I'm not going to be as condescending as people usually tell this one. The riddle says there are three words in the English language that end in G R Y. Hungry and angry are two. What's the third one? And you hem and haw for a bit. You try to decide what's the third one, and the guy goes, "Ha! Language. Get it? I said there's three words in the, in the English language. Ha!" And it's like you motherfucker. That's not how language works. <laughs> That is not the question that you asked. But it's, it, it's that same sort of thing where people, you know, say this with the pure intentions going, I'm so much smarter than you, I tricked you, haha. -ha. I understand I what he was saying. He was trying, you know, in, in his in his question, if he had actually, you know, first and foremost worded it correctly, used the correct words, deserted, not desert, and then also made it clear that this was meant to be a lesson on economics instead of just coming out of the blue with this. It would have been the understanding that part of economics is the study of what do people do, what is worth what to people, especially when something is scarce and something isn't. In this case, food being the scarcity and money being plentiful. Money means nothing in that case. It's the, it's the person who has food who really has who is uh, you know really rich is really worth something. <clears throat> but. The problem is, it is people who decide wealth, not an institution. And so, if you asked someone on the shore who was wealthy between the two of them, the person on the shore is probably going to say the billionaire, because we understand wealth to be a function of money. Yeah. Just one of those, like, motherfucker, please listen to the words you said first and think about how someone else is going to hear it. Actually, I should have asked earlier, uh, did he misspell desert as dessert? No, no. Dessert I, I, I would have, no, I, I was going to mock him. I was going to happily give a coconut for half his fortune if I was on a dessert island. I just eat the fucking nah, ice cream. No, 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 he spelled it right. That's why I went after him for dessert, desert, not deserted. Yeah. Um, so no, that was part of it. And then also, uh... The other thing I was going to make fun of him for was like, you know, you didn't say there's no other food on this island. You didn't indicate any skills. For all I know, the billionaire has spent half his fortune learning survival tricks on an, on deserted islands. He probably knows how to make fresh water from ocean water by freaking uh, um, uh, evaporation. So why on earth would I think the guy who only was able to find himself a coconut off the beach? It's a really nice coconut. It's a wonderful coconut. We got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Fiddly deep. But it is, it's just one of those, like, a lot of us were laughing our asses off of this. And then he was trying so hard. And it was just that feeling of, dude, you're trying way too hard. Uh, oh. The exit had to be up front, right? That's uh, right over here. Oh, did I miss? Oh, oh, it is, it is there. And I, I looked directly at it and forgot about it. Okay, I think we're done. Uh, I'm okay with this. One, Glacial Beal Queen, as compared to all of the other random bullshit we could have. Oh! 
Oh shit, that hurt a little bit. Please no. Come to my safety bubble if you don't wish to die. Uh, it is very hard to get to your safety bubble right now. That's what makes it a safety bubble. <laughs> no. I can't get to it. It isn't very safe for me. I have to go through all of these enemies to get here. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh not good. Oh not Okay, I'm alive. Aha, I live! Give There's me a lot of green. Give me my health bubbles! Uh, here. Okay, get in, get in. Oh no, I'm fine. I have health bubbles. Oh, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Grab one of those. Grab one of those. And number three. Okay. Wanna make sure you all set a third one. Grab that. Oh, we get more money. Mm hmm. So I've been showing my sister, like, when I cook a new recipe, because she's like, oh, look at this fancy thing, because she works at a restaurant. Yep. Like, like a, a fairly nice one, too. She thinks she's learning all this shit, so I've been casually flexing on her with, like, really fancy recipes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you work at a restaurant, but look what I made. Looky, well, looky, what I can do. Uh, I want this. Not even enough to buy a single item. Where are you going? Uh, I am over here. All right, I'm going up then. Yeah, I'm. I you go cliffside. As always. Yeah, I'll go cliffside every every so often, but this just so happened to be the direction I was going. Money. Money, money, money. Chunk of money. Loads of money. I haven't played that game in a while. I should play that game again. I don't have the second one. I only have the first. I don't know how I felt about the second one. Honestly. It, it, like, I bought it, but it wasn't really something I enjoyed. I... It, it was a novelty, like, but I felt it took a step back. Oh, hey, this exists. Uh, I, I like my build, <laughs> and you shouldn't use it either, but I think it counts as a lunar item. Oh, I'm not using it. I like my build. And then we have an accord. Uh, I'm gonna spawn some nerds. Ready? I mean, my build could be better, but... Money on you. Yep. Uh, let's get these. Just diversifying my portfolio of effects real quick before I start doubling down. I know, uh, the moon nerd, uh, tried to pull the respect your elders, you should listen to me card. And, uh, we laughed that right the fuck off. Moon nerd? Yeah, the guy who said the moon was eternally going away and would never stop. Oh, and he didn't hear a curtain respect my authority? Basically, yeah. He was like, I'm from Generation X, the generation that made everything you like. Oh, everything the generation that fucked everything up. No, not boomers. X. Oh, that's right. I thought they changed around the thing about Google. No, 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 X, X is the, uh, 70s to 80s. Wait, wait, he's from Generation X and he's arguing on the internet. Mm -hmm, apparently. Oh, no, I think this kid was 12. Like... I, I do not think this was a, like, you know, 50-year-old person, 40-year-old person. We do have some novice, like, one of the, uh, one of the mentors that I really like, uh, she's 
probably 60-something and plays with her three kids who are in their 20s. Like, the entire fun. family. Yeah, it's really wholesome. The entire family plays uh, uh, plays Final Fantasy together. It's awesome. Um, it's definitely a fantastic thing, and uh, a lot of us are su super excited to hear about uh, you know hear about her. But a lot a lot of us are in our 30s, um, so it's you know there are people kind of of age, but I'm not entirely sure. I believe this random like 60 year old is here to talk science badly at me, you know? I can type louder than you, so I must be right. But then I, he, he was going, you know, all you... I forget what he, he was talking about. He was, he, was trying to, he was trying to teach a life lesson. He was like, all you have to do in life is be successful once. And I was like, oh. the fuck you, you gotta, say? If you want to be successful in life, by that, the word's very definition, you need to chain success. Like, Means you got a success multiple times. Yeah, maybe when you were apparently a kid in the 80s, Granddad, you could be successful once and live off that. But most of us have to be successful repeatedly to actually, you know, to actually get that type of a uh, result. Uh, you haven't seen one of the giant uh, thingies, have you? Giant thingies? Yes. The, the what's now? Giant mech. Oh, no, I have not. That's a shame. Admittedly, I also haven't been looking for one. That's fine. It does everything. Supposedly, they're guaranteed to spawn, so there should be one somewhere. Uh, I can be tactically to go out of my way. I just find it funny, like... You know, it's the, you know, you only have to be successful once, and, you know, also, we're responsible for all the shit that you like, and it's like, yeah, but when you brought up bullshit, I was the one who looked it up. In the end, like, uh, what was I going to say? Oh. Fuck you, Beefalo! Yeah, I have learned from NG runs that when it's an imp overlord as your boss, I do not trust the green dome. At I all. wasn't trusting it. <laughs> I don't even put it up. It's like, nope, there's gonna teleport in here and cause me shit. Oh, it's for the wisps behind me. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a legit point. It's all yours. I, I don't. I'm not gonna risk it because it's I'm technically it. a lunar item. Alright. Uh, what do I need? I'm gonna pick up one of those. I kind of need to pick up mobility, but like you said, the commando is pretty damn mobile on his own. <laughs> I mean, when this hits a hundred. I'll jump on this pad and go upward for a second to see if it's up there, but if it's not, just hit the button. I don't see a pad. What pad? Yes. Oh, that didn't that is that didn't spawn on my screen. Uh and it didn't turn on, so whatever. That must be latency or something. Yeah, there's no pad there on my screen. Okay. Can you actually give us Thank you. I love being a coital. Like, I love going to the volcanic zone and, you know, fighting in there, but this zone gives us both reds. So it gives us conniptions. After, after these conversations. Come on, these were back-to-back -back things. Um, wow, he took no breaks. Well, it was two different people, remember. One was the oh. moon guy, one was the desert island guy. But uh, these were back-to-back -back conversations. One basically spawned the other one. And uh, one of the other mentors reached out to me and is like, 
I don't know how you can stand talking to people like that. That was the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Amigo. The survivors figured out that breaking eggs resulted in better loot. Animals everywhere cried out in terror as everything died. Pretty much. Okay, now that I've killed, you know, bosses, let's move on and actually go get some shit. I have like a chest on my side of the board. Nope. Okay then. your balls more there you go be over there in a second Shit, ow, that hurt. The back up for a second. If I can grab some items that might make me live a little bit longer against this. Oh, oh cool, you! I have a double jump. I can actually help. Where is he? Why is this asshole attacking me? yours, because he's out of my range. Fields down, please. Thank you. He's dead. Win. Win two. You're going for the flip. Okay. Um... I'm grabbing a hammer.
think we both made some solid choices. Okay, exit is down here. Looks like. Oh, did I come in? Oh, okay, there's an equipment drone up here. Fuck me. I don't have one to put in because I already activated an equipment drone earlier. I mean, I could put a Freon in it. Then I don't have a Freon. I'm sure we'll find another equipment barrel eventually. I don't know how good a Freon is in, in a uh, equipment drone, but... The reason why the Freon is so good is because it's an emergency, I'm at full health, now fuck you ability. <laughs> I don't know if there are any more uh, equipment barrels on this map. Ready for me to start? Uh, check one other place. Oh, it's worth it to come up here. Okay, on my way in. Go ahead and start. Focusing on this one first. Or we'll just kill both of them simultaneously, okay? Alright, good. Kill the bats. Uh, there's a yellow. Uh, I wouldn't mind having the yellow simply for the... Uh... Uh, go for it. But what does the potato-looking one do again? Fuck. When remember. you're sprinting, that's um, right. That's the one I don't want. Yeah. Um. Actually, in that case, you you oh. already got green. Yeah. I was gonna say you get the crit, but I'll grab. Yep. Yeah. Already grabbed a thing. I think we have a much stronger run this time. Okay. <clears throat> Why the hell are they all the way out here? Complaints. They're afraid of the Prion bot and his friendly backup turrets. You know what? You might not be wrong. Shoot me! Ah, uh, nope. Never mind. Teleport event's over. I want my lower than 10%, damn it. Man. Head out of the loop. Yeah, the game really wants us to uh, to win instead of loop. I'll hit that. I will. Beating a parent. Yep, I wanted the money uh, related to that guy's face before I went. There are two bosses over yonder. The magma worm and another drone. Worm is making their way over here. Worm is aggressive. Oh, of course it is. Worm. Hey, equipment box. Get my free on back. Not bad.
Oh, hey. That's a devilish parent that just hit me in the back. You dead? Nope. Just wasn't aware they were there and got surprised, that's all. Was shooting at the big round ball in the sky when that happened. Fuck the big round balls. Working on it. Have done so successfully. My favorite kind of shrine. God damn it. Brass contraptions just keep on spawning. Already have an active. Okay. Hello. Is something nice? No, I just found a new turret. Like friends. Damn it. The uh, active item drop first. That shrine's items are dead forever. Oh, you can get it, you just need to switch up your angle. Yeah, that's a little bit of effort. I don't know if I'm willing to put in that amount of effort for a white item. down there? Coming a really expensive chance run. So it is. Yep, naturally. <laughs> it. Never ends. I, I was kind of hoping you to do that for the joke. Never fucking. 
fucking ends. Thanks, game, for supporting me in this joke. The way the exit is back at the bottom of where that was. Imagine we're almost done. Yeah, I that was the last area for me to check quicker. To the exit. Or do you want to what do you want to do? Kill boss first? Yeah, I mean we're not getting the artifact on this one because okay. I don't want us to accidentally be cheated out of our uh okay. out of the achievements. I think destination. You know when to start. Oh, you're way the fuck over there. Okay. I'm on the way. I'll get there eventually. I love that I have the green elephant just kind of attached to my leg. Okay, hit it. Oh, shit. Well, that worm came from behind. I probably should have been focusing on the worm. I was going to make jokes at the worm's expense and everything. I'm glad I didn't do that yet. That would have sounded silly. So the question is, what is this a reminder of? Hmm? The overloading worm is the reminder of what? I'm guessing the second uh, second boss that uh, Providence summons, because he summons two worms at the end, the blue and a red. Uh, he summons them simultaneously. Yeah, uh, but he summons them and together, blue and a red. Yeah. I mean, I'm reminded of how easy they were to cheese once you knew the strategy behind it. I'd love to kill the thing, but he's way over yonder. Right? Dude just has no interest in being part of this fight. It's okay, I'm sure he'll show up eventually. How's the weather? I, I couldn't tell you, being dead as I am. It looks nice, I guess. Oh. <laughs> the weather's very purple today. Yep, it is oh, a yeah. very purple day. You're finally showing up, Worm. I think the idea is that you're supposed to go chase him. Huh. <laughs> I 
I do not necessarily advise this course of action. Okay. Easy. See my movement speed? Yeah, I mean, you, you have you have comfy movement speed. I have no movement speed. This is still vanilla. It's fine. Otherwise, he's just going to be over there attacking drones until the end of time. That's, you know, that's his prerogative. If everything else is dead, you know, you do you, man. You're not dead yet. That's the problem. <laughs> His prerogative is supposed to be kill the fucking player. I'm just not a threat, which is both funny and sad. <laughs> Let me try moving up just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the teleporters are. The teleport event's done. Okay, game, I have less than 10% health. Give me my achievement. I think that's actually true. <laughs> uh -huh. Zero is less than ten. Oh, he is really happy over there, isn't he? I mean, he has taken some damage, and our healing drones are keeping healed everything he attacks. Here he comes. Finally. He go back. Yep. You little cunt! Yep. Wow, you do no damage. Well, it's more... I don't have an angle. There you go. Finally, fuck. He, uh, he did indeed take the longest of forevers. Oh, nice. Yeah, blue portal spawn. <laughs> and you get a shit ton of boss items. Well, a shit ton of items. Uh, Alright, that. I'm trying to figure out, there are apparently some boss items I've never picked up, but there are not that many boss items, and I swear I've gotten them all. Remember, don't buy anything here unless it's the melting pot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to use the melting pot. My item count isn't that high. I wonder if there's an item for killing the newt. He just kicks you out of the shop and you can't use it. I wonder if your DPS is high enough, because it takes him a couple seconds to react. Well, don't do it now, because I need shit. Yeah. Do I wanna... I mean, I could get... A red item or three. What's the corpse bloom do again? Uh, increased healing, but always over time. That's right. Oh, uh, let's go with that. Well, let's... Eh. I'll go for one more. Got two more. And this is how you completely change your build on a whim. Yep. I'm going to grab one. I mean, all of the core core items on my build are still here. Mm. 
I am going to grab this. It's a good item for you. Absolutely. I was talking about this in a in a previous run uh, concerning um, command runs, but like whites are core items, reds are bonuses. So it's like, yeah, I gave or not reds, no, 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 sorry, uh, whites are core items, greens are bonus items. So yeah, I gave up a bunch of greens. But at the end of the day, I just gave up a bunch of kind of cool bonus effects. <laughs> Whereas my power core is still here. Uh, there's another equipment box so up here. Uh, I have a jade element, so I'm good for now. Okay. And apparently luck doesn't apply to me. Yeah. That does appear to be pretty quick through. The game just kind of bends over backwards to give you items, I swear to God. Here, come here. Take this. The green. Okay. I mean, I'm not too bothered about items right now, so it's not... Well, it's just you gave up a lot of your greens. Oh yeah, but that was my choice. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna give up items and then, like, pretend that that wasn't me choosing that. Uh, we might be done on this floor. I'm checking the upper side. Trying not to be, you know. I mean, we're already in ha ha ha, so. Yeah. Oh no, I'm like, I'm trying not to be trans and, like, completely fuck up my entire. my entire build. I will yeah. survive. Okay, I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, it looks like it's clear. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a Malachite. Okay, there's a Malachite on top of uh, the teleporter. Good know. I was wondering what happened to my health. It turns out a Malachite happened to my health. So all those greens that I have that I give up wouldn't have helped me anyways. I legit thought you died just now when you just suddenly ran away.
It's like, holy butts, man. How did you die so fast? You had health. That was a lot of experience. Plus. Saw that little stutter step. Yeah, just like I'm just gonna walk away from this. The annoying thing about the Malachite no healing effect is there's no bypass for that. Um, shield shield that generates actually don't count for healing. Right, but, like, you have to be out of combat for that, and when are you going to be out of combat when it matters oh, well, that you can't heal? Oh, no, it's more like, uh, if you're at full health when the Malachite is there, you can still build shields. It's only you won't build, not blue shields, I mean, like, over shields. If those aren't reliant on your, uh, on your health or regen. Sides again. Yep. Make it easy. I don't think I have a single chest on this side. Really? I think I have two. Holy shit, ow. I'm trying. Trying not to. Fucking Malachites. I need to remember to use this fucking item, this active item that I have. Yeah, it's pretty wonderful. It's a flat 300 damage reduction. Yep. You know, don't mind me, I don't like living. Just heard a bunch of Malachites spawn next to you, that was fun. Uh, no, right. You know the game. Well, found some items for you. Boy, I love items. Me too, but I can't have these items. Oh, chance shrines. Because they're chance shrines. Gotcha. Yep. Like I said. You and your ridiculous bullshit. Yep, you just continue to hit every single one. How the hell? Oh, that's It's not how that item is supposed to work. Someone at the door? What's up? No. Your health got suddenly awful low. Are you okay? Oh, I didn't have hands. 
Ah, yes, that does happen. Oh, lovely. Oh, there's a bear there. To fix my headphones, as a roommate apparently after living here three years still doesn't know which week is recycling, which week is garbage. But don't die. Trying not to. These enemies hit for trucks. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Because that area has suddenly become unaccessible. We're gonna run over here. No, we're gonna run over here. No. No. Yes. Okay. You can blame that on my roommate. Ah, uh, Clay Templar. All right, folks. Well, that's going to be it for us. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you all. We'll catch you next time. See you guys soon.